What's up, people? It's your boy Jatwan. I am slightly back. Um, I, I think, I don't know if you saw my post from Friday, but uh, Thursday I came down with a little something, so I currently sound absolutely dreadful right now. Coughing and sneezing and all this great stuff that's mostly gone, but I'm still kind of fighting it, so I still wanted to jump in and show you a mod that was shown to me. Uh, a great dragon, he was, uh, I, it's something I've been looking for for quite some time. It's this right here called Take Command, and it is a fantastic mod. It takes the command seats and actually lets you, uh, use them from wherever, Hangar VAB, and actually populate them. Now, I've been wanting to do this for quite some time because it opens up a lot of doors. So, I'm just going to show you some of the things that I've been doing with Take Command. Uh, and it is updated for 1.02. So let's take a look real quick at Take Command. Okay, so as you may have noticed just then, it kind of flashed in and then ejected me out a little bit. And that's because, well, it was putting Jebediah in his little car here that I built for him. Uh, complete with its own roll cage because it really needed a roll cage because it was rolling over quite a bit because I added a nice little fan to help me accelerate. Now it really doesn't need it, actually it can roll pretty quickly and uh, this is, it goes about 22 meters per second but I mean this is Jebediah we're speaking of, it turns really well. So let's turn this on and Jebediah gets a nice little boost in speed and there he goes. 36, 37 meters per second, pushing one up. I think I had it up to 40 before I ran into some trouble, uh, which is why I have the fins up front, uh, which keeps it mostly on the ground. All right, and here you go. There, there you go. Once again, they just kind of spawn and automatically jump into their seats. This is Val's Velocirator. Uh, Velocirator. <laughs> And it is actually really like this one for Val. I am actually envious because Val's came out a lot better than anything else. Now, if you're wondering where these red parts are from, those are not, I did not add any color. There's no paint mod that I'm using at the moment. Uh, this is actually a flipped over part uh, from Fire Spinner that kind of gives you some floats. These floats actually are just flipped over, so I actually do have some buoyancy control. And that's Val's little vehicle. It looks a lot sweeter than most of the other vehicles, most of the other rovers that I've created. And I actually want to, I do want to take this one over to another planet because it looks so absolutely sweet. And let's go ahead and kick on these lights here. You see, I got the red lights in the back, even though you can't see them. I wish they add in uh, a different state for these where you can change these over to red. Maybe it'll be something I'll look into later whenever I'm feeling better. Alright, so once I had this, uh, once I had this mod, I decided to start doing a racer series. Now, the first of the racer series is Racer 1, and you can see here, not a bad little vehicle, lacks a lot of imagination. This is before Velocirator, this is before Jeb's Jettison, which was the first one with some fan in the back. Um, nice little vehicle, eh, but it's very boring and has the tendency it can actually flip over. There you go. Oh, ooh. <laughs> Next came Racer 2. Now Racer 2 you can see here I have the big wheels in the back, small wheels in the front. It's got a little thing going on here. Of course, I didn't add any seats on this one because it was a highly experimental wheel design. With the, you can see how I have the wheels kicking out here, and I didn't know how well that would hold up. But it turns out it holds up pretty well. But the problem is, it's kind of boring. <laughs> All right, so in reality, there is no racer. There's racer four, uh, which I built, and this one was a little slightly different because I use an off a, a bit of offset here and it actually had the ability to have Jeb and Val admittedly a little too close because their helmets are overlapping to one another but look at the enjoyment on these kids face look at that look at that that is so much happy going on there you 
cannot say that those are not two of the happiest curtains. <laughs> All right, so let's push on to the next racer because this design was one for the birds. Next up is my little mock-up. Now, this one was built to be like the Ariel Atom. And you can see here it has this nice little cage. Uh, and it has some additional wheels here because it's meant to go fast. And it does slam down kind of hard sometimes. So, uh, I can just get that started. Now, you may have noticed there are some engines here tucked into the side. And some fuel tanks from Fire Spitter as well. So let's go ahead and get our engines kicked up. All right, so we're just gonna go over here, do a nice little jump and land, and show you what it looks like when those wheels in the back touch, when the wheels in the bus touch the ground and the ground. There you go, nice little screeching sound, and you get the nice little effect of the smoke kicking up. That's what it's gonna look like. If you're wondering what these engines actually give us maxed out, they don't give us very much. They're actually, since they're so small, there's very little thrust, but it gives us just enough, as you can see here, that these wheels in the back and underneath the sides actually have to do a bit of work to keep this thing stable. Alright, so improving upon my previous design, you see here we have a giant version of the Aerial Atom, which has turned out to be something like a Duke, uh, I'm sorry, not Duke, it has something uh, like a Mad Max version of a rover. I actually really like this, it's, it's really well designed and uh, takes into account the fact that it has a lot of torque, because in the back here you can see it has these extra wheels. In case it flips up, it can actually bounce itself back down. Let's go. <laughs> that's, that's the torque I was telling you about. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to run out of voice here soon and start coughing and hacking. And I probably need more Sudafed or Claritin or something that's going to stop me from coughing and hacking. And feeling absolutely dreadful so I, I do apologize if it feels like the video that I, I hope this video is not too short or boring these builds actually did take quite some time but so if you like what you see it hit that like button drop me in a comment let me know what you think uh, definitely get, take this mod out for a try I'll drop the link in the description below it's called take command and it is a fantastic mod that will warp your kerbals into the command seats and uh, I will say that it is very well worth the install. I absolutely love it. Along with Kerbal Foundries, these wheels are from Kerbal Foundries. Uh, these bars here, these structural bars, these are actually from uh, these are from Infernal Robotics. They're the new Infernal Robotics. Um, and let's see, if there, is there anything else? I wonder that is not. I mean, you have, yeah, you have Kerbal Engineer back here, gives us our details. So, a tweak scale, a lot of tweak scale, you do want to use tweak scale, fire spinner for these wheels here. Uh, so, yeah, there you go, there's some of the mods, I figured I'd let you know about all those. Uh, and, yeah, if you want to go out and build your own sweet looking rovers, and uh, if you want to use these rovers, let me know. And, uh, yeah, send me back some pictures if you do indeed use them. I'll, I'll drop the links in uh, for Kerbal X so you can have some fun with them. Uh, they are all PB new powered so you don't have to worry about solar or recharging batteries. They all have plenty of power so they can actually move on for quite some time. Kerbal uh, foundry wheels don't take a lot of power. But anyhow, oh I did include the, the goo packs. They're just back here. Look at that. Alright, so anyhow, if you like what you see, hit that like button, drop me in the comment below, let me know what you think, and I hope to catch you guys in the next video, subscribe and share this one out if you have not already, and I will catch you in the next one, it's your boy Jatois, and I'm out, peace, hold on, one more willy.
Ready? Don't move really. Wheeling it out. <laughs> yes. No, 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 no. There we are. Whoa. 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 <laughs>